morning to students today we will start our new chapter a legend of the north men so first of all you understand the meaning of Le a legend of the north men so here are all the given legend and old traditional story which is handed down by our forefathers so that is the legend and old traditional story and it is handed down generation by generation orally so that is the legend this an old traditional story that is the legend and north land north land is a place in the region around the north pole so in the region around the north pole that is the that place that is the north land next harness harness is Time to pull the sleighs. Now, sleighs. It is sleighs is a kind of. It is a kind of uh, here vehicle which is run over the snow or ice. That is the sleighs. And reindeer. Reindeer. It is a kind of animal which is found in North Pole in cold region. Sleighs. I told you. is a vehicle which which is run over the snow or ice and dogs this cub that is the baby of bear bear in this poem so first and the limited first away away in the north land where the hours of the day are few and the nights are so long in winter that they cannot Sleep them through. So away, away in the north land, just near the place of the north land, far away in the north land, where the hours of the day are few, means the day days are very little. Means the hours of the day are very little near the north land. Away, away in the north land. Means very far away, just around the north land. The hours of the day are very few. Means the days are very little, and the hours of the day are very little or very few. And nights are so long in winter. In winter season, the hours of the day are very few, and nights are so long in winter season. That they cannot sleep day through. So that they, they means the people of the north land. You know that because of this, you know the hours of the day are very few and the nights are so long in winter season. Because of that, they means the people of the north land cannot sleep throughout the night. Means throughout the night. in winter season because of the cold and nights are so long and the hours of the day are very few the people of the north land or around the people of around the north land they cannot sleep throughout the night second stanza where they harness the swift reindeer as i told you you know harness means to tie the reindeer to pull the sledges so Where they, they means the people of the north land. Harness means tie reindeer to pull the sledges, and swift means very fast. Here something which runs very fast. Reindeer, it is a kind of animal in the north pole or north land. So where they harness in the north land, the people of the north land, they tie the reindeer. to pull the sledges so where they harness the swift reindeer to the sledges means they tie the very fast reindeer to pull the sledges when it snows when it snows in the north land they tie the swift reindeer to pull the sledges and the children look like bear scouts <coughs> The children of the Northland they look like be 
bears curls the baby bears they, they look like baby bear in their funny funny clothes when they wear clothes and they look like bears curls in their funny funny clothes when they you know when they wear funny clothes funny clothes they look like bears curls and here again wear the harness the swift reindeer to the sledges when it snows and the children look like bears cubs in their funny furry clothes so the children of the northland look like bears cubs when they wear their clothes funny furry clothes In third standard friends, they tell them a curious story. Means the people of the Northland, they tell them the curious means strange. Curious means strange. So the people of the Northland tell them, they tell their children the curious story. I will believe this true. This this is the short form of this. So this this. So here the poet is saying that I will believe this is true. I don't believe this is true or not. That the people of the Northland tell the curious story to their children. And yet. You may learn a lesson, and yet you may learn a lesson. But you can, or you may learn a lesson by that story. By that story, whatever they told them means the people of the Northland told the story to their children. By that story, you can learn a lesson. If I tell the tale to you here, the writer the poet is saying that if I tell the tale to you, if I tell that tale, the people of the Northland told they, their children. If I tell that tale to you, you may learn a lesson. Once when the good Saint Peter lived in the world below, so what the story? The poet is telling. This is the story. The poet is telling, and the story starts from the fourth stanza. So once when the good Saint Peter lived in the world below and walked about it preaching, just as he did, you know. So here Saint Peter, Saint Peter, an apostle or messenger of Christ. Here, Saint Peter is a messenger of Jesus Christ. Once, when good Saint Peter lived in the world below, when the Saint Peter was living in the world and walked about it, he walked in all over the world, preaching just as he did. You know, means he walked about the world. Word to teach the words of Jesus. So once when the good Saint Peter lived in the world below, he is telling the poet is telling the story that when the Saint Peter was living in this world and he moved all over the world to teach the word of Jesus Christ in all over the world, just as he did, just. You know. Third stanza, sorry, in fifth stanza, when Saint Peter was traveling in all over the world to preach the word of God, Jesus Christ, he came to the door of cottage. 
so jesus prayed uh, for saint peter king to the door of a cottage in traveling round the world round the earth where a little woman was making cakes and baking them on the hearth so when when saint peter was traveling on the earth he came to the door of a cottage and in that cottage where a little woman was making cakes in that cottage a little woman was making cakes and baking those cakes on the hearth so here hearth is a fireplace where you do cooking so in that hearth he was baking uh, he was baking those cakes and being fed with the fasting for the day was almost done he asked her from her store of cakes to give him a single one then saint peter reached to the door of a cottage in that cottage there was a little woman she was making cakes and baking them on the hearth on the fireplace and being fed because of hunger saint peter was being fed with fasting so with fasting because of the hunger he was being fed for the day was almost done for the day was almost done at the end of the day in the evening the saint that saint peter he was being fed because of the fasting and he asked that lady the little woman from her store of cakes to give him a single one means that saint peter asked that little woman to give a single cake from the store of the cake <coughs> in standards 7 so she made a very little cake if when saint peter reached to the cottage there was a little woman and she was making cakes and baking them on the hearth that the saint peter became became fed because of the hunger and she asked for one cake from the store of the cakes so she made a very little cake then that saint peter asked only one cake from the store of the cake that was very uh, from the store of the cake then the little woman made a very little cake for the saint peter but as it getting late and then she made a very little cake and she was going to bake that cake she looked at it and thought it seemed too large to give up when she uh, was baking and looked at that cake when that she was made she made for the saint peter that was looking very large to give away to the saint peter means she made a very little cake that the woman made a very little cake for the saint peter and but as it Baking lay. She looked at it and thought it seemed. Huh? Yeah. Means she looked. When she looked at that cake, that little cake, <coughs> she thought that it is very big to give away to the Saint Peter. Therefore, she needed another. And after that, she needed. She needed another dog. Another dog. Huh? Yeah. Therefore, she needed another. Means another dog. it is still a smaller one and that another dog was still a smaller she needed but it looked when she turned it over as the as the first head then and when she looked again to the another dog that and turned it that dog again looked as large as the first head Done. Here, therefore, she needed means at first she made a very little cake, and she thought it seemed very big to be very large to give away to the Saint Peter. 
means he didn't keep that key to the Saint Peter because he was that cake was looking very large to give away the Saint Peter. And then she makes he needed another dog to give away the Saint Peter, but still a smaller one. That was another dog that was the smaller, but 